Hello, I'm the Locomotive Engineer. In my last video, I started updating my Siemens Charger model to match Via Rail Canada's new SC42 variant. After importing my reference materials, my first task was to settle on a general shape for the streamlined wings on the size of the nose. After a very rough first draft, I edited the profiles and surfaces until I reached the shape shown here. As can be seen, however, there's still a long way to go yet before this is a fully realized model. So let's keep going. With the front wings in a rough but workable state, the next thing we need to do is to add the contours underneath them that transition them back into the pilot and coupler area. Any further refinements we make to the nose shape will be dependent on this relationship, so it's best to get a good rough draft of this feature started.
transitions added in, the nose is actually looking pretty decent. It's always fascinating to see how naturally shapes interact and flow with each other when you're on the right track in a model. Past this point, trial and error will be crucial to the drawing process. Testing out a new shape, finding new errors, testing out new shapes to fix those errors, and so on. Like any artistic project, it is this refinement and revision that makes the difference between an okay result and a good one. Finally, after almost 14 hours of work, I have a shape that I'm happy enough with and confident enough in to mirror. Considering how much work has been put into the drawing at this point, it may not look like much progress has been made, but now that the most complex shapes have been completed, everything else should be fairly straightforward by comparison. Turning on basic shadow rendering in SketchUp helps highlight the contours and allows us to see how the shapes will really look once photo rendering begins later. This is also a vital part of the earlier drawing process since it makes errors and inaccuracies in the surfaces much more obvious. At this point, it is looking quite nice. I like to keep draft copies of complex shapes in my drawings as I work, just in case I decide that I like one of those earlier shapes better. Now that I've got a nose that I'm happy with, however, I can erase them and get rid of the clutter. wings complete, the next few tasks are relatively simple and much faster to work through. First, we'll complete the nose contours by adding the center section between the wings. Next, we'll add the wing lights and the third central headlight. And finally, the last thing to draw is the front snowplow.
bodywork completed, the model is nearly finished. In the next video, we'll add paint and lettering, and then move on to rendering. See you then! Thank you.